Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. So subscribe to get your life organized. I'm now in my kitchen, and today I'm gonna to show you an updated fridge tour and give you some tips. It's been about four years since I've done my last fridge organization. I used to have the side-by-side -side fridge, but now I have this type of fridge. On this side of the kitchen is my refrigerator. I have a calendar up here, our KitchenAid toaster oven, and here just a picture. I try to keep this clear. Our junk drawer is there, medicine cabinet, and this is my new used fridge that I've had for I think about a year and a half. And at that time, that's when I think the Home Edit came out with their products. And so I got everything from there and use my Cricut to label. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up. I found this fridge on OfferUp and the good thing was that the guy took out my old fridge and he delivered and installed this. So I'm just gonna do the fridge part today and then also this drawer. I'll do another video to show you the freezer organization. Let's start here in the middle. Okay, so the reason I labeled and maybe you want to label is because it just helps me think more quickly. Of course, these are see-through or clear acrylic containers and you could obviously see that they are eggs. But for our family, my daughter likes to bake. She's still at home before she goes to college. And so we have to separate the eggs from the baking eggs because sometimes um, we'll get through the eggs and then there's nothing for her baking and she might want to bake something or I'd like her to bake something. So we've separated that, that works for our family. So those little things, when you are organizing your refrigerator, think about that. What is very particular to your family? What are things that you use all the time? And that's what you want to put in your refrigerator. I've also noticed that what I have in here is good for two weeks if obviously the electricity stays on and so, um, what do I use in a two week period? These are the things that I always have in my refrigerator. All right, let me pull out this container from the home edit at the container store. Of course, you can use any container that you want. I particularly, um, when the show had come out, I went and, or when their products had come out, I went to the container store to see if they would be worth it. And it does cost a pretty penny. Um, I don't even know if they sometimes go on sale, but uh, I haven't been there for a while. So anyway, this is the cover. And this actually holds one, two, three, four, five, times three, 15 eggs. But then on top, I can put them kind of in between and it still closes completely, okay? The nice thing about these particular containers is that they stack. And so whatever container you get, um, make sure that they are stackable because that's going to save you space in your refrigerator. And they slide in very easily. So I can have it go all the way back there. You could see that it's off to the side a little bit, but that allows me to fit everything on this shelf. And, or I can pull it forward and make it like this way, but I just wanted it this way. And so the thing with this, um, it obviously doesn't fit the whole uh, length or depth of the fridge. So if you happen to get a lot more stuff that week or you're having a party or having people over for dinner and need extra stuff or there's like some event happening, you could still put more stuff here. And so there's still space in the refrigerator, but I like to keep it like this as much as possible. All right, for this container, I think it was like the large um, bin. It doesn't come with a lid. I believe this one, Yes, it has this little thing here to have a divider, but I've taken out the divider and I just have it in my, um, I have a few containers in the garage that are empty. So I just leave it there in case I decide to change the type of um, organization for this particular bin. And so this one is a uh, bread and let's see. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see the space there and just go on to the website you can see the sizes for this and i usually like to have pita bread or um, tortillas or non-bread and then this is just a bread from the asian store 
that we haven't uh, eaten yet. Okay, and it slides. It. I mean, I'm just. I just like how perfectly they fit. Now, what I do want to add is when you're um, looking for containers, the thing I liked about this was that it's very straight. Okay, some containers they will have this top part go out a little bit, but that little bit can make all the difference. If you have three of those little bits, it's gonna become a lot bit, right? <laughs> okay, here, my butter dish. So I just got a new butter dish. This is from Amazon. I'll link it below. I'll link everything below, even the ones from the container store. Um, if, um, Cause I do think they ship, I, I think they ship worldwide. Um, so this, the, the butter dish that I had was a gift. And it was just, it was just so wide like that. And it just took up a lot of space in the fridge. I do like to keep butter in the fridge. We, li we live here in Phoenix. It just, it's just uh, something I'm used to. Um, and this particular one came with a knife. Now there are different reviews that the knife doesn't fit or it broke or things like that. But luckily I got a good one. This is bamboo on top. I need two hands to open this. So you can see it fits a Kerrygold, Finlandia, you know, those bigger block of blocks of um, butter. Um, I think it would only fit one. I don't think you could double stack it. And then it has this, uh, what is that, seal around. And I love it. So we usually do a big breakfast on um, Sunday morning. So we just have to pull this out when uh, we're having waffles or pancakes and I love it. So you could take it directly from the fridge and serve it. And so that's why I like to have a butter dish ready. Okay, over here we do uh, have vegan butter and I like to keep two. So we're obviously using the top one, it's lighter, and this is a full one. So then when this is done, okay, we have this and then I buy a new one to go underneath. So I always have two on hand. All right, and then up here, this is just extra for this week because uh, I was making steak and this is garlic butter. So where we buy our steak is from kind of more a little bit of a specialty grocery store or a smaller grocery store. And uh, we really like their steak there. Um, and they also serve this garlic butter. So I got that and that's, we'll probably be having steak again next week. So that lasts. And then this one is perfect, okay? So this one, the bottom one I got from, I believe, I M Design and the top one is I Design, both on Amazon, but they're the exact same thing. This particular container, it the lid opens up like that, and it has this kind of look on top, which I like. You know, it has a different, just a different look. Um, the edges are inside, so and they're stackable. If you notice that, but you can use this in the pantry. I've seen them put like granola bars in it. Uh, I wanted something for butter. Oops, let me close my fridge so the light will turn back on. So you can see I have two of them. One is for the carry gold, and you can see that it could fit four. And so it won't stack another one up there. And then the second one I have is for the baking butter. And you could see that it fits eight, nine, ten. Um, yeah, it will only fit ten. And I put a label here, butter. This one I didn't put... I might put one, not sure if I will. Um, and then, so again, it fits, slides in there perfectly. So you can see here, you see this edge here, there's a little bit of a lip, but you can't help that because it's a, that's just how it's made and that's the, uh, the lid. And then, but here you can see this has a lid, but it doesn't stick out as much. So those little things is actually what I liked about the home edit brand. Um, take a look in your fridge. See how the 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 lids, the covers, um, even the slant of the container itself. If it's taking up space, um, it might be something that makes a difference in your refrigerator. Okay, over here, I always have noodles on hand, and um, I like to make ramen noodles or udon noodles. And there's a pork belly from Trader Joe's that's in a box that is like the best. And you could totally put that in your long-term freezer pan, uh, freezer, or just your freezer. I usually get like four or six at a time. And 
I probably got to do a recipe one time because it's just the easiest thing to do and you have a very decent ramen at home. Okay, so these, I uh, forgot where I got them, but uh, this particular container, you can see it has the divider. Just like this big one, it would have that divider, but I don't have it in that big one. But this one, uh, you see the this thing here? Okay, it fits right in there like that. And luckily it fits my noodle packages exactly perfectly, okay? And so here it says noodles. And then the, the thing that I've done with most of these containers is that I put labels on both sides. So if one particular week I have more dough than noodles or more noodles than dough, then I just switch it around and then it would face that way. So I would have two containers of dough. Okay, so I always have on hand also, again, this is what I'm trying to show you is that in my refrigerator, these are things that I always have on, on hand, plus my meals for the next week and a half or two weeks. And then uh, this one says dough and I always have crescent rolls or biscuits. This one, I wanted to try this, the cinnamon rolls. Um, there's a recipe I saw on TikTok. I gotta find it, but I wanted to try these. So these are great to add to your dinner for breakfast on the weekends. It's just, or, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can make with this, like a, a chicken and dumplings or like a chicken pot pie, but like a deconstructed, deconstructed with biscuits. And so, again, I put it up here. It's off to the side a little bit, but you can't really tell, and it just fits perfectly there. And then the other side of that says noodles. So I can either have two noodles or two doughs. And then here it says Asian, and because these are kind of my Asian sauces. Now I'll show you here in the back because my someone in my household accidentally put it near um, a flame. I don't know what flame, but it still works, so I just keep it there. Um, oh, by the way, this used to be my, the font I used, but I changed it to this font because I just wanted it to look a little bit not so fancy. Curry paste. Okay, if you're Filipino, alamang guisado. It's a shrimp paste. Ginger. <clears throat> and the uh, gochujang, which we have Korean barbecue at home. I have a whole setup for that. Okay, and look, I mean, these could not have fit more perfectly. On to dairy. So this, this container is exactly like this one, but this one has the divider. I uh, filled this up last night with the yogurt. So uh, this can fit one, two, six. This can fit six Chobani yogurt this size. Okay, and in the back, so this one is dairy, okay? In the back, I have the cheese, and in the front is the yogurt. And this is where this divider, for me, is genius. I love these. And so you may want to look at that too, containers that have dividers. Because now, instead of just like dairy, and it's falling all over the place, this is cheese, and this is yogurt. But the overall um, category is dairy. These... I, this container I got from my uh, grocery store and it's perfect to fit my borsen because we don't usually finish one all at once. And then this is actually a cream cheese container. You could get this on Amazon and I just hold my, uh, right now that's a, I think a smoked gruyere. And then I just keep the um, cheese packets in here, cheese slices. And it's nice that you can just stand up because you want them kind of like filing versus lit versus um, laying flat so you don't just like clothes or just like a file cabinet it's nice to have it standing up so I could just flip through and get whatever particular cheese I want to get for that meal or for that snack uh, obviously you could see how it could fit like cheese sticks or uh, baby bells and then even for the yogurt, I get them in sets of two. So like I got two of these, two of the blueberry, two of the mixed berry, and then I got two vanilla, two vanilla. 
or four total. And then this just slides right in. I just have to push the cheese down a little bit and pushes right back like that. Now you want to put the labels facing forward so that it's easier to read when they go grab the yogurt. Okay, spinach, we always have spinach. And I actually like more of the bag spinach, but when I had gone grocery shopping, it was just the bundle. Uh, it's just easier because it's clean. And so this particular container is the one that has this thing here. It's for supposedly fruits and veggies. And I'm going to warn you that this will only last for a week. So you see here, you have strawberries. I mean, they, they don't hold well. So there are better containers, but because I wanted everything um, uh, the, the same or to you know, look uniform, that's why I keep these and I just um, have to, I just plan better as far as how much fruits and veggies I have in these particular containers. So again, spinach is something I almost always have. So I label this particularly spinach versus produce. And then the other side, I have fruit. And that's it for whatever reason. Uh, usually like when I'm having an, uh, a party, I might have to have extra fruit. So this one would be fruit, fruit for that week. And then for this, um, this container, I actually have on the other side produce. So if for some... Uh, week I'm gonna have more meals using more produce than what I can fit in here uh, then I would have like let's like that spinach produce all right so as I'm sharing with you how I'm organizing my fridge I want you to think about your fridge what are the things that you use on a weekly basis a two-week basis are there particular things that you get more of on a, a certain week and how would you arrange it for that week as opposed to the week before. Okay, and so these are strawberries. We always have strawberries on hand. And But for this particular um, container, I just, these containers, I decided to just put fruit because I don't, although we get strawberries all the time, I just didn't want to limit myself to, and I needed the other side to be produce. So I just did fruit as a general category. Here I have red grapes. And the other thing I found is that Shopping for the fruit at Costco is only good when I'm having an event. If I'm buying it for us just regularly, we've found that we've wasted. Uh, even if it's just a little, it's just, it's wasteful. And so, but what I, I try to do is if we have the strawberries is to freeze them when I see that we're not gonna eat them fresh. So that works because we do uh, smoothies. So these are red grapes. Again, it says fruit on the front. And then these are half size containers. And you see they're the same length together as the, the full size container. And I love that because then you can, instead of having the divider, you can have a whole separate one. And I use these particularly for the fruit because we can just pull them out of the fridge, bring them to the table, or you know if we want it as a snack and eat it that way and um, just even keep it inside this container. We don't even have to transport it um, into a different dish, okay? Okay, onto this shelf. Over here, the same size container, and you see how it fits perfectly on the shelf. These are my olives, capers, pickles, okay? And I just have them in these uh, mason jars. I think these are the pint? I can't remember. And then I just have the white uh lids on them versus here pickles olives capers i have the white lids on them versus the metal ones and that's just because they're in the refrigerator and just it just looks nicer to me to have the white ones this one this container is the one that's a drawer again it's stackable okay so if uh however you configure your fridge like let's say like this particular one can go in Okay, and I could stack it on here, but I choose not to. This is the best configuration I've figured out for what we need. This is deli, and this is not a lid, it's a drawer. So it opens this way, okay? And so this is where I keep deli meat, pepperoni when we make pizzas, some soppressado, is that how you say it? Soppressada, and then sometimes we have prosciutto in there or turkey meat or something like that and I love it. I love how it just opens and then I can look what's inside. Again, these 
are not the full depth of the fridge. So I can push them all the way back and it would have, uh, this one doesn't cause there's um, this bar, but if I needed more space, I could put something here temporarily for that week. But I'd like to keep it forward only because this bar is there. So it's more even this way. Then this is our bacon drawer. Yes, we always have bacon. I usually get it um, from the store or from our deli department. And this particular week I haven't gone yet because it's only Wednesday. So we usually get it on Friday or Saturday because we eat bacon on Sundays. That's like our treat. Okay, this section is meat. So these are part of the meals that I'm going to make for the week. Last night I made some Italian sausage. And so I went ahead and labeled it like that. And then there are pork chops. So that's another meal we're having for this week. I think I'm gonna have pork tonkatsu with miso soup. Something I made a, a couple of weeks ago, so we like that. And then this one says tofu. I used to have one that said vegan, but we mainly just have tofu and miso soup. Again, it's a drawer, okay? And so I like this particular brand, by the way, and red miso versus yellow miso. Uh, we have extra soft here and a regular tofu. So I usually use the firm one for the miso soup. This is one that my daughter got. I think I put that in my grocery haul. We haven't used it yet, but you can make tofu eggs. Um, you know, like they're like eggs. So I've made that before, but we usually, again, we just have it for miso soup. Uh, we just add some green onions. All right. This drawer is for veggies. Okay. And let me try to pull this all the way out. So, so you can see. Usually I pull it out like this, but obviously you can pull it all out to clean it. Now, as far as deep cleaning my fridge, I did this about like 10 days ago. So I usually try to deep clean once a month, minimum. Um, I probably don't do more than that because it's, it's a lot of work. And so, and then I just wipe down every week or every 10, two weeks when I do groceries. And so this one is, um, well, let's start from here. So this week I'm making some mushroom and tomato pasta. And I found that usually one is good, but I'm, I have another one because I might make a, some other types of something with that, like maybe a BLT sandwich or just other types of uh, salads. And then this container you could get anywhere. Um, I just put my half onion there. And what I found is that you've got to use the same onion. You got to use it within the week, within a few days. And so I've been better at that. And this same container, this holds the red uh, ch chilies, which I get from the Asian store. Here are mushrooms that I'm making with that pasta, tomatoes and mushroom pasta. And then this one is very good. I like it. Um, it's uh, by, I think it's, yeah, by Rubbermaid. And uh, I just, it has this thing at the bottom to lift it up so it doesn't get wet. And it, it does hold the veggies better. It has this size. It has a few sizes, I think, but I have this size and then the larger size. And I like to keep um, carrots there. Then I have to pick up that piece there. Do you guys do this? Like you see a little piece, you just put your finger and take it out. Uh, but I usually always have carrots. I make use carrots all the time, fresh carrots. Uh, and then these are jalapenos. I got this from the Asian store. So there are a few in a bag. I would have liked to have less, maybe half. So I'm coming up with recipes to use these up. And this is snapware. I love snapware. Now, sometimes these things, they break, but the ones I've had for several months, they haven't broken. I use them all the time. And you can also get them on Amazon. I got like a set from Costco. And this week uh, with the pasta, we're having romaine. So I have romaine sometimes if if see if it's like the bigger bag like i get from costco we waste that all the time i get through like two of them and i and then i'm done and so that's one thing i've noticed and this is how you're going to beat inflation is just to look at the things that you're wasting and try to tighten that up right and so that's one of the things i'm tightening up the fruit even the meat from costco is something i'm tightening up you just don't need to buy that much. And these are power greens. We always get this from Costco. My husband always gets through that because he makes smoothies almost every day. Okay, just putting them back. And I do prefer containers that are more um, like a square or rectangle versus round. Although I do have some 
round ones um, just because I like that. I have one also for fruit, I mean for um, lemon and something else, I forget. But uh, most of the time I'm using the onion one because I don't use the whole onion. I try to get medium sized onions, but sometimes you can't get that size. All right, so it looks like this. All right, this side meals. Okay, this is the thing that has been a game changer for my fridge organization, is to have one particular spot just for meals. I was uh, putting, I always have veggies, and then I was putting, let's say, leftovers in here, or I was putting fruit, or um, cheese, and dairy, and stuff like that. But uh, the way I think, and maybe think about this for you, when you do your menu planning, right, you, you plan the meals. And so if it's all in one particular spot, it's gonna, you just have to go to this drawer and think, okay, what am I doing for this week? Uh, if, if you don't have a written menu plan, it's, it's, you can even look at it that way, okay? So in this, and then I also have meat for my meals, okay? And then the, these are meals. This particular week, uh, actually tonight, I have a few friends coming over and it's just going to be just like um, salsa and fruit and I think chips and hummus. So I kept these in here for now because that's the meal, okay? Uh, I'm serving the strawberries. I'm, I'm serving chips and salsa. This might be too much, but I got a second one. I'm serving grapes. Uh, Okay, and then here's the, the hummus that I'm serving. So that is, it helps me remember that's what I'm serving for tonight. Now, the other thing is like on a regular week, if uh, these are things that we can use for a meal, like radish, if I'm making um, Korean barbecue, and then I have some miso that we need to finish up, and it will go with um, probably the extra the firm tofu, and then I can put this in there once this miso soup is done. And we've had this forever, rice cakes, and we're probably gonna make that next time we have Korean barbecue, but I just keep that there for now. Now, if I need space and I'm not making this for a meal this particular week, I can just fit it in here. So you can see there's still space up here for you to fit stuff. So let me give you an example of what this drawer would look like on a regular week. Not this week because I have people over, but let's say I'm making Korean barbecue. So I would have the Korean barbecue here and then the rice cake and then the different um, sides that go with the Korean barbecue. Or let's say I'm having uh, spaghetti and meatballs. So I would have the ground beef here or the meatballs. So it's mainly meat that I would put in here. Um, then I have the veggies, but it's just... Uh, keeping them all in one particular place has helped me. All right, let's move on to the door here on the right. And I have dressings, jams and dips, and condiments. These containers are OXO. They are the large size. I'll link them below. And these are all my dressings. And you'd think I'd eat salad all the time. We don't. But when we do, we have these dressings. And sometimes they come in a bigger bottle. That's why I've had to use two. Um, the, this is a balsamic vinaigrette and what I've done is I've just labeled it at the bottom for uh, using my label maker. And this one is creamy Caesar. We always have creamy Caesar. These are the dressings that I always, almost always have. Okay, Italian dressing. And I keep this to make different stuff like a, a pasta salad. And that is just the extra there. And it worked out that it fit in here. Now I have to push one back and one forward, one back, one forward for it to fit kind of evenly. And then this one here in the back is my favorite champagne. Uh, I forgot the brand. And, and, and of course, these are made, these are for dressings that you can make on your own. And this is garlic vinaigrette. And so you can see that it has um, uh, numbers there, you know, measurements and measurements here and the nice thing try to hold this okay let me do the is that these um come off so you could put you know your dressing in there mix it up okay and then this thing opens like this okay you could do it one hand and then you just pour it in 
and you do it and you close it like that. And it has this rubber grip right here to help hold it better. It's really, I love this product. Okay, this one jams and dips. So let me show you this. And I try to get the this brand as much as possible. And these are strawberry preserves and these are wild blueberry preserves. Now, why it's not a blue top, I'm just kind of wondering. And so I usually have like, um, uh, yeah, I usually have like a blueberry or a grape and a strawberry or a raspberry or something, two types. And then this one kind of got washed, I mean, wiped off, but it's tzatziki and I put the date. And this one, this container I got from my grocery store, Simply Done. Let me see if it's on Amazon and I'll put it there. And so 1.7 cups, it's a round container. And I chose round for this particular one because it's tzatziki. And you know, those like hummus, tzatziki, uh, spinach artichoke dip, they usually come in a round container and it's just visually more um, representative for me. Okay, and then the rectangular one is like the one I showed you with the chili um, peppers. And then this one is hummus, 712. So two round ones, okay? And I just use a dry erase marker. You can write directly on top. And the other one is mousse and it fits the container perfectly. I love mousse, mousse with crackers, specialty crackers. Okay, so put mousse and the date and it fits just like that. It's perfect and it's a snap. Now, again, these snaps, they might break off, but I've had um, a set of these for, gosh, I think two years, and they've never broken. Like the one in the, for the chili peppers. Okay, I've had that. I've had that for a while. All right, so you see it fits perfectly in there. I love it. Love it. Now, of course, you could keep it in the container. So I keep it in the container like this when you saw that. But then when we've used it, I go ahead and transfer it to this. I keep it in the original container. When we open it and it's not all used, I put it into this container and that's when I can label and uh, label it. And then I think it will keep fresher that way. All right, condiments. So this condiments drawer has been, or this condiments shelf has been the bane of my existence. Just kidding. Okay, so I had different, if you see my old refrigerator videos, I had condiments um, squeeze bottles and they became such a hot mess. And so I don't recommend them. And so what I've decided to do is to keep them in their original containers as much as possible. This one is just mayo. That's mayo that my husband uses. This is J Japanese mayo. Let me know in the comments below if you use Japanese mayo. And then what I found after putting all these containers in is that this particular size, the 32 ounce is perfect in here. Now they didn't have the sweet relish uh, that size at my grocery store. So I got this one, but it, it fits in there, it's great. I, If I find one that's the size, I'd like them to be the same size. So that just they just look more uniform. And then these are containers from OXO. I call it OXO, so OXO. And they are particularly for sauces. Again, they are meant to just, you can use it with one hand, open that up and then pour it, okay? And so there's the large and the small, or, you know, I'll put the link below. Again, they have measurements here. The numbers are there, um, there, OXO, I can't see that. And so again, at the bottom, I've labeled it. So this is soy sauce, and yes, I have this particular soy sauce in the fridge. I usually don't put soy sauce in the fridge, but I have this one. And this one is the sweet chili sauce that we use with our egg rolls or lumpia and Filipino lumpia, which is Filipino spring rolls. This is uh, Asian dressing I got from the Japanese store, another dressing from the Japanese store. And this one is lechon, which is a roasted, a whole roasted pork. And that's the sauce we use for it in the Philippines. Our Filipinos use that, not just in the Philippines here and look how nicely it all fits okay and the great thing about having a shelf just for condiments if let's say uh, we don't really eat uh use mustard a lot but if you had like mustard ketchup relish and the mayo you could actually take this whole shelf out and bring it to your table and serve it from there i mean maybe you won't serve it inside this container but you could take the container 
put everything on the table and then bring the container back versus taking these individually to the table. And then you could do the same thing with the dressings. If you want different variety of dressings, it's nice to have a uniform bottle and you could just take the whole shelf off, bring it to the table, take all the, the containers out to serve it and then bring the shelf back here. Okay, on to the left side. So the ice maker is here and then we have this. Okay, I actually have my own ice maker now because we just need more ice. And so here is salsa. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna label this part, but basically this is kind of like the spicy section. I know I always wanted to have salsa, I always want salsa. I wasn't sure if I just wanted to name it spicy because that's more of an adjective than a noun. And so here I have ginger, that's for sushi and wasabi. We always have that. I have two types of salsa here, let's see this particular one. And then this one is an open bottle. So I'm gonna finish this up this week. But what I also have here, you know when you do takeout or you have like those little containers and they're not yet used, like we had Chinese food, gosh, actually like three weeks ago, but I still have the chili, the chili sauce here. And then I have pickles because 4th of July we had ordered burgers. And so, but I don't wanna throw them yet. I wanna use them up. Okay, so this is a spot that I could have that. You have to make a spot for it if that's something that you uh, do regularly in one month. And so it's, uh, here's some mustard. And I had that because I was making some type of uh, food one time. Okay, so caramel pudding, because I said we don't usually have mustard. But that's caramel pudding. That's my daughter. She bought it from the Asian store. I don't know what she's going to do with that, but I figured this is kind of like a potpourri, a, a mixture of stuff. So I went ahead and put it here. It makes the best sense to me as far as category. And then you could see how it stacks up nicely like that. Okay. And right down here is citrus. And I love this. I love this shelf. This is one of the shelves that I finally created because I always have this all the time. And the reason is like, I, I make so many things using lemon juice and fresh lemons. I have a whole, um, what's that called? A platter of lemons there on my dining room table. We have lemons all the time. Okay, so this one, you can see it's the bigger size. And then I got the small ones. Now I don't, I didn't particularly need these small ones, but I had gotten them anyway, because if I'm serving, let's say I have a pancit noodles, which is a Filipino noodles, and we put um, lemon on them, or I had this arscaldo, um, which is like a chicken porridge that we put lemon in it. And so instead of bringing this big one to the table or putting it in a little dish and wasting, um, or you know having to put the lemon juice back, which you don't really wanna do all the time, I just got a small one that is more for at the table, okay? Then we got the lime, and then I think this is the grapefruit one, or blood orange. Then this final shelf in the upper part of my refrigerator is for snacks. These snacks are for my husband. They're not really my snacks, but they're basically hard-boiled eggs. He's, I've been eating hard-boiled eggs forever. And then these are mochi. So these mochis are individually wrapped Okay, uh, Japanese mochi. We got these from Costco. Uh, there's ones that we get. These don't actually have to be refrigerated, but I want them in his snacks section. And But we usually get one from the specialty store or the Japanese or the Asian store that really has to be refrigerator and, and they're bigger. They're probably about this size, the size of that um, container. Uh, and I put them into these reusable uh, Ziploc bags or re reusable sealable bags. And the reason for that is that's how I can put a lot going vertical and contain them. So he knows this is one category mochis, this is one category hard boiled eggs. And um, they fit perfectly in this L type um, shelf. So imagine if I didn't have that, these would be falling over because the, the shelf is low, right? The eggs, they can't go this high. So that's something to look at in your refrigerator. Are there places where you could put a bag like this to add some vertical space to fill up that space more? 
All right, so let's move on to the drawer. This th drawer is only for leftovers, okay? And so here I put a label, leftovers. The other thing it's for is that when I'm having a party or guests, I can use this for more stuff that I'm preparing for the party. Uh, maybe example, I'm, I'm doing a charcuterie board, so I might put more of the cheese and the salami and the prosciutto here, or the fruit platter, or veggies that I'm using to build the meal. And then if I have meat, I want to separate over here. So that is on an off week or, you know, every so often when I have a dinner party like that. But what I found is that I needed something that is really just for leftovers because we were wasting leftovers. There wasn't enough space. It was hard to see. It was in the back of the refrigerator. It was a science project. But having it here like this now, we've been able to get through our leftovers in a much better way. These are new leftovers for this week, but last week we got through most of our leftovers. I think there was two containers like this that we didn't get through. And that was, uh, I felt bad, but um, the rest, it was like this full. We got through all of them and then it helped me uh, plan my meals better. Like if, like tonight, I'm not going to be cooking today because we're gonna get through this, right? for lunch and for dinner. All right, this is here, the onions, cilantro, and tomatoes because I was gonna make some fresh salsa to mix with the other salsa for my guests tonight. And then we have a small container here, snap, where also someone had made us some green salsa. So that's over there. And then I had these, again, these containers, snapware from Costco, and they came in a variety of sizes. But what I found was this particular size, I'll link them from Amazon. I got, they're a set of five that I got from Amazon. And these are glass, so I prefer the glass. I got rid of most of my plastic stuff. And you can see I just label it. I put the date of what the food is. Those were dumplings. This is actually chicken 365. My daughter got it from a party, Sahi chicken. Uh, that's Indian food. Okay, we got tacos there. Uh, chicken tikka, 710. Should put, put that there. So this is kind of like, this is kind of like the Indian food. Taco dumplings, and this is my starch. So her carbs, okay, so mac and cheese. We have some garlic fried rice there. And the nice thing about these particular square ones from Snapware, aside from them being glass, is that again, they stack and they fit perfectly uh, in my in this drawer. And this one is broccoli rice. Uh, these are sardines, okay? And so you could see them stack this way. And I could, this one doesn't stack, okay? This is too high. Um, if I put this on top of the square, it, it doesn't close. Um, only this, the rectangular and the square ones can stack in this particular drawer. So look at that, that's perfect. Um, I, can, I can double up. In this particular fridge, you could choose the temperature, meat, fish, wine party dishes, deli snacks. I keep it at cold drinks for the leftovers. I've done it before at meat fish and it was just a little bit too cold. hope you enjoyed this fridge tour and tips. Let me know in the comments below what tips you can implement into your fridge organization and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!